truly believe it that God is able to bring people into prepared blessings prepared blessings means that he makes a table and I'm speaking this by the Spirit of God prepared blessings listen there are times where God can empower your farm for your crops to grow but there are times he can send bread from heaven because of the urgency of what is needed all those miracles is still the hand of God I believe God can correct body parts I believe he can give new ones yes sir yes sir yes sir I believe God can open the book of remembrance is it not in your Bible that there is such a book he said bring me the chronicles and he said ah this guy did this many of you have been part of the lives of many people and yet you have, you have it is human to forget but when God is ready to lift you was it not what happened to the wine presser he said I remember my wrong this day I forgot somebody who was not supposed to be in the prison like you are here now and God is reminding someone remember I said by January and God is reminding them how about someone who is missing returning home read your Bible donkeys return home talk of human beings donkeys God is that meticulous to return a donkey talk less a human being if God can return donkeys he can return money that is missing he can return things that have left I believe in miracles hmm. I believe in miracles I believe in the supernatural I believe it when it defies science when it defies time it is the doing of God hallelujah and I believe in impartation let me tell you what impartation is impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities we are made among many things by the kind and the quality of the graces that reside upon us it's true your possibilities are defined by the kind of grace that is upon you that means if there are certain things that don't seem to happen it does not mean they cannot happen it means the grace that commands them is not yet there you can know what is on you by what is around you thou anointest my head with oil but i know it by the overflowing of my cup it means if my cup is empty it does not mean all cups are empty it is just my own that is empty challenges are not generic they depend on what grace is at work in your life because for some of you this is what you really need you love God sincerely but there are certain possibilities that you are unable to command because there is, there is a kind of anointing and there is a kind of grace that needs to come upon you they saw Saul and said is Saul also one of the prophets and for some of you you came here to meet Jesus to be saved because you see no matter what else you get if it is minus Jesus you are already holding a loss in your hand it does not matter what it is minus Jesus it is a loss and for some of you God brought you here you are not really his focus for now it is that spirit that is behind what you are doing are we together that spirit that will not let you rest not let you rise no increase everything going down the God that we serve is a mighty God are we together now let me assure you by the grace of God that every spirit that is masquerading behind your pain and every problem I stand by the God of heaven who called me and I declare it must give up on you finally it must give up on you finally it must give up on you finally tying down your children tying down your progress it works for others until it gets to your turn listen when it's time to pray don't be quiet are we together you didn't come to watch a movie you came to provoke some things to get out of your life they remain to the degree to which you permit them there is a way you can be angry at certain situations and say Lord thank you for the grace to clap for others but tonight I have made up my mind tonight it has to be my night tonight is also a night where whoever has been sitting on what belongs to you 
Mashali kasko praka dozati apakada. Embreke de kalakuziata. Hear me. Was a man not sitting on a seat that belonged to Mordecai? He sat for a long time. It was not a man's destiny. The real person who was the owner was sitting at the gate and, a, and someone who was there mismanaging that position. Tonight, God will overturn and overturn and overturn and overturn. I prophesy to you, He will overturn. Hallelujah. The Bible says, while men slept, the enemy came. Many of you have seen harvests in your life. You cannot remember who sowed the seed. The Bible says you were not the only farmer. There were things you sowed and so, eh, the devil came as a farmer too and added some things. You sowed peace and love, but you are seeing a harvest of trouble. And you are saying, no, 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 this does not match. Ah, he said when a thief is caught, he is made to restore tenfold. In the name of Jesus. Help those under the anointing. Listen, I came here full of the spirit. I came here angry in my spirit because it, it is someone seasoned by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Who told you God does not lift? Who told you God cannot lift a man? It doesn't matter what family you are coming from. Forget about the talk of arrogant men. When God points his hand at you, he can shift anything and lift you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And any man who by mistake has said over his dead body, this night, this ground will open and swallow them. Who is a man that attempts to speak when God has not spoken? Any family here that there doesn't seem to be joy it seems like sadness and pain every week every month is another episode of trouble you are hearing trouble from mama trouble from your dad in the name of Jesus I don't care how long those patterns are they let you go once and for all <laughs> hallelujah Listen, you'll be seated shortly. When the, the, la the lady who works in civil defense, as she was giving her testimony, she said something that struck my spirit. She said, my promotion came and it was backdated. And that thing touched me. You see, the difference between progress and restoration is that in restoration, you backdate. Pro progress is just advancement. But restoration we have to start not where you are where you were and then take you to where you need to be both progress and restoration my god will release it to your life tonight in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i believe in the power of god I believe in miracles don't ask how it will happen don't make the Mary already helped us to answer that question how shall these things be Luke chapter 1 and verse 34 seeing that I know not a man the angel already said it verse 35 this is always how it shall be the angel answered the Holy Ghost shall come upon you and the power of the highest shall overshadow you don't ask how will I be healed that's the answer the Holy Ghost shall come upon you and the power of the highest shall overshadow you how will I be delivered the Holy Ghost shall come upon you and the power of the highest shall overshadow you hallelujah listen the Bible talks about a man called Nehemiah he was the cup bearer of the king and one time the king loved him and saw his countenance he was downcast and the king said i am not sure you are sick but why are you downcast and he began to cry and said that the the wall of jerusalem had not been built and the king immediately said so what do you want 
to a cup bearer there are many of you today right now god has connected you to destiny helpers but there are certain kinds that you need to meet if you meet the kind that cannot help you um they will just comfort you but there is one strategic person if nehemiah consulted with his contemporaries they would just console him but as soon as he consulted with the king all the materials were given to him plus letters to the governors don't harass this man i pray for you the grace that will connect you to those who will lift you instantly may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you one of the the areas that the lord told me in the place of prayer is to break the siege of untimely death you see this thing called untimely death don't wait till it happens to you there is a wicked spirit that is able to cut men short beyond their time using flimsy physical occurrences a bike just comes to hit the only breadwinner in a family and he dies don't tell me that is the plan of god no I know the thoughts that I think towards you, Jeremiah 29, 11. They are thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end. Are we together? So in one minute, I'd like you to pray. Please mention everything. I know you wrote it down, but I'd like you to pray because I'm about to begin to minister in the spirit. Father, I pray, let my faith be alive. Visit me in this area, in that area. Someone pray. Don't let the devil lie to you that God cannot do it. Even if it's a special miracle that disease can leave you and the spirit can give way. Someone pray. Someone pray. Outside, make sure you are praying. Don't be distracted. Someone pray. Tonight is my night. I place a demand on the power of God. For in Jesus' name we pray now hear me there are tens of thousands of people here and you don't have to be called as an individual no let your faith reach by faith and you can receive right where you are and for the many who are following online just like the lady from austria said right where you are the concept of time and distance is a scientific concept but as far as the realm of the spirit is concerned i mean even even there are dimensions of science that have told us that at certain realms the the idea of time and distance it's is something that is inconsequential you can pick up your phone right now and with one dial you reach somebody in the north pole somebody at the other side of it and it will go with one dial did the Bible not say the word of God is quick? Quick. Hallelujah. Do you know, behind many situations, ladies and gentlemen, behind many situations, 
are spirits what do you think these demonic spirits do on earth have you ever asked yourself what do they do on earth that means if you gather them now and said all oh, unclean spirits what what do you do on earth already remember the story of Job. please sit down for one minute remember the story of Job. when he asked satan he said from whence comest thou he gave a very a, a, a intelligent answer he says from going to and fro the earth not to and fro a region i'm going to start asking you to bring those under the anointing now i'm saying this to establish something because i want to rebuke these spirits to and fro the earth that means as far as satan is concerned the earth is too small there is no place he cannot cover and he does that by the agency of these spirits so they are everywhere what is their assignment everything that is pro god pro christ pro advancement pro love pro peace is their assignment apostle who did i trouble that this trouble is coming to me no that that is that is just a traditional way of thinking provided you are alive and provided there is potential in your life to reveal jesus you have invited satan into your life are we together jesus did not invite him to meet him in matthew chapter 4 he only was fasting and building capacity for the journey ahead and that act alone drew the attention of satan he patiently endured until the fasting was over the Bible says in John chapter 10 and verse 10, the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill and to destroy. I always read it this way. The thief does not come until there is something to steal, until there is something to kill, and until there is something to destroy. That means when Satan comes to your life, more than being someone who will attack you, he has come as a verification system that there is something in your life, even if you do not know it satan will never come to that family if there is nothing to steal to kill and to destroy setting people free from the influence of spirits is like destroying a tree by uprooting it you're disconnecting it from the earth did you know that if you try to destroy a tree by plucking the leaves you are only wasting your time once it is still connected to the earth where it can draw nourishment and water it will spring back again in fact it can take what you are doing as pruning and grow back again is that true so there are many of us who are dealing with our situations you want to remove the, the devil look look at me please the devil walks like an octopus you know how an octopus is different hands he would touch your finances touch this one join the heads of others with the remaining hands and you will think there are many spirits it is one and the same operation visiting every aspect of your life so sometimes solving them one by one may be a waste of time that spirit that powers everything once you clear it out of the way the bible says all doors opened how many doors they didn't need all doors to be open to pass but all doors open the same way you came here probably saying apostle let's deal with this issue of my finance but now you will not know that the same spirit is still programming trouble in another area just because it has not manifested remember the book of job the discussion finished in the realm of the spirit then the bible says there was a certain day that was the day of execution same thing with haman they already prepared the day that they will annihilate the jews it just had not happened yet so just because it has not happened physically does not mean the programming has not been done the assignment of the anointing is to scan your life the challenges that have manifested and the ones that are still on their way it clears all of them are we together now you don't have to wait for them to manifest before you deal with them anything that gets to this realm has already been concluded in the realm of the spirit spirits for as long as i live i would not spare any demonic spirit that i know is responsible for frustrating the saints uh -uh. behind all these conditions there are many people 
what appears to you as infirmity is actually the spirit of poverty because by the time you are earning say 50,000 or 100,000 and you are spending 30% of it treating a demonic malaria that never goes another month once you are done as soon as you collect your your salary it graduates to typhoid and then one kind of sickness that you don't understand as soon as the money is done the doctor says mysteriously it looks like you are getting better that is more than sickness it is a wicked spirit how about families where the devil will afflict one person and every other person in the family must suffer because of that affliction have you seen that kind of thing happen we're going to pray the devil is a liar in the name of Jesus Christ and then for those who have been trusting God this see this our friend who came and gave testimony the lawyer it really touched me time does not change anything it takes an encounter with the anointing of the Holy Spirit this gentleman would have remained like that and wondered how will it be eight years Lord you've not helped me whereas he will be passing his destiny helper every day some of you your destiny helper is seated even close to you it's just that no destiny helper knows he's a destiny helper it's prophecy that re, that that does that job because you are sitting down near a rich man or somebody who can connect you does not mean they will do that no it's the realm of the spirit that creates that reaction many of you are angry at every successful man wicked uncle you are seeing me every day that's exactly how it was designed to work naturally he should not have any burden he, he can't take any burden for your destiny except and unless when that grace for favor is on you now he turns to be more than an uncle he now becomes a helper when uh, saul was on his way looking for his father's donkey don't you think he must have passed a lot of people on the way none of them blessed him but when he encountered samuel and that grace came he said you will meet three people and all of them are holding two loaf of bread they will greet you and give it to you hallelujah god desires that our joy be complete that's why he grants us the opportunity to experience miracles in our lives he truly wants listen if there is anything i know about god is that god is love find a look beyond what has happened or not happened in your life find a way of convincing yourself that the god of the bible is a loving god are we together when you have that mindset that god is love immediately your heart is open to believe him and to receive the one who loves you is the one who heals you the one who loves you is the one who lifts you the one who loves you is the one who restores he does everything he does because he loves us more than just demonstrating that he's almighty is because of love if God did everything he did to us simply because he was a mighty God then we would charge him for lack of love I hope you know God's love is higher than his power is that true mm. God's power submits to his love it is his love that even regulates his power God does not exalt his power above his love for God so loved the world not for God was powerful that he gave not for God was mighty his might is there but let me draw your mind tonight to the love of Jesus when you understand that he loves you you will not allow the devil lie to you and say well apostle is speaking about certain special people i'm sitting somewhere outside in the overflow i don't even know how to speak english well my cloth is not even anything to write home about that is exactly the kind of people that love even looks for hallelujah praise the name of the lord so beyond the shouting and the falling under the anointing beyond all of these things have it at the back of your mind that he loves you he loves you the message of god's love if understood will work wonders because there is something about not knowing and understanding the love of god that becomes the basis for accepting every nonsense the devil gives you are we together yes if you know that i love you 
then you can trust that there are some things I would not do. Is that true? The awareness of that love. If someone calls you and says, I am Joshua Selman, empty all your account into my, my um, uh, what now? Into my own account. That person is a fool and is a thief. Immediately you know that is a, that is a senseless, it's, it's an anti-Joshua Selman behavior. Are we together? So if, if you have that understanding, but if you suspect I do not love you, you can easily believe it. There are lies the devil has sold to us and we have believed it because the awareness of God's love. Do you know how far love can go? How far love can go? Power can go far, but not as far as love can go. Are we together? When power gets tired, it is even love that carries it along. Jesus was powerful, but there was a time power failed on the way to the cross. Is that true? He could not carry the cross. The ministry of power failed. It took love for him to finish. Believe me when I tell you, it is good to be conscious of God's power, but higher and greater than that is the awareness of the love of Jesus. Love means he will not stop until it gets to you. Love means even if he tried to get it from January till July and it did not reach you, power can get tired. Love insists until you become a reflection of that which he died for. Mordecai was good enough but favor. And he said everywhere you see the chariots of Mordecai bow the knee, Mordecai is passing. Yes, a gatekeeper. You may not like a person but when favor is on them, it will veto whatever you think. I pray for you again. Every door that must open in this season to validate favor, I command it to be open now. I command it to be open now. Listen. You're not going to build a house by savings. Let me tell you the truth. It's not in today's Nigeria. You're not going to buy a car by saving. No. I practice all these things. You're not going to, to settle and train your children just by saving money. You will need a grace that can accelerate your results. Otherwise, you will never be a giver. You will never. You can't be a giver just by saving peanuts, 10 naira and 100 naira. When there is a demand, life will demand so much from you. That if you are not operating under favor you will be frustrated and that's how satan wants to trap men he would trap you and make your life miserable let's release this favor on our families you have received it for yourself but let it get to your family i pray for you in the name of jesus christ my father every family that is represented here by the anointing of the holy spirit let there be a release of favor let there be a release of favor favor on every family favor on every family listen sometimes eh, it is not warfare that destroys it is even how favor works favor can kill to make sure that one person rises some of these proud relatives that make fraternities with darkness and sit upon the destinies of families and make ghosts and say for as long as we are there you must route your success through us if you attempt to rise without us you will not rise i declare that the sword of favor may it get to every family and dislodge everybody who wants to be god in that family hallelujah favor in one minute i want you to begin to mention all the areas you want to see favor and speak lift your voice begin to pray begin to pray participate lord i release favor concerning this job pray i release favor i release favor favor concerning my building project Favor, 
favor like a shield. You surround us with favor like a shield. Pray, make sure you are praying in the name of Jesus. Favor like a sheep. Favor in my academics. Pray. Favor over my job. Lord, favor, favor, favor. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you the truth. You see, Ba, this prayer you are praying, if this prayer is truly answered in your life, this is how you will stand. What is this? This favor prayer you see, there are people who have touched up this favor. They can tell you, favor is fearful in its operation. Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness and they carry the crippled man I don't deserve the palace he says still come and the king said you will sit here and eat with me let me tell you how you know it is favor listen favor is not one time when somebody just says hey, Jimmy, I want to give you water what that's just goodness favor is I want to keep blessing you I want to continue doing this many of us what happens is that we are mistaken goodness for favor someone just appear once and just says look I want to help you and it never happens again when it is favor a process is ignited it keeps following like that it's true study the things in your life you'll be able to separate goodness from favor there are things that just happen one time but favor favor continues so I'm seeing fire on my hands and I want to pray because the Lord wants to bless the works of our hands listen whether you're on a job or whatever it is you see these hands you see they are it's a mystery it says the the hand of God it was with this hand God made man are we together now this hand you see is a symbol of your productivity and if it is not blessed it will bring struggle to you i want to pray I'm, I'm seeing fire on my hands and i want to pray because for many of us who are getting results but our results are too small i stretch these hands the fire that the lord put upon this hand in the name of jesus i release it let it come upon your hands let it come upon your hands representing your job your academics your business whatever it is that you're involved in i release i stretch my hands may that may that fire come upon you in the name of jesus christ you go back with that hand and write a proposal and it will shock you what will happen you go back with that hand listen listen believe this and pick up a document and submit and someone collects it and is under the influence of what your hand brought it's true it's true why does God do these things to give us rest so we can serve him why does God open doors to give you rest financial frustration and all kinds of related frustrations are strategies from Satan to distract you and make you to keep seeking things you never will truly be able to seek God when certain things have not been solved in your life it's true you can't give God your best when you are still thinking of what to eat you are thinking of what to wear but when God takes those things away your prayer life becomes worship not just hours of petition in the flesh hallelujah hallelujah overflow two there's someone the anointing of the spirit is coming on someone overflow two the overflow by the roadside 
Bring the lady. Hello, him, Adonai. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Overflow to the overflow by the road. Please, quickly. We have to hurry up. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Can I talk to you, madam? This woman, please tap her for me. Come. Hello, him There is a spirit that doesn't want this woman to rise. Hello, him Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. The Lord is opening the eyes of your parents. I'm seeing the Lord opening their eyes to a realization of something the devil has been using. In the name of Jesus, especially for this lady, I command it so now. In the name of Jesus Christ, that every conspiracy of darkness over you and your family is hereby crushed to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I don't know who you are, but let me pray for you. There is a spirit. I look at you and I see a woman who should be walking in certain realms of favor. You love the Lord. But this is like, it's like a trap. You just cannot move and make progress. And the Lord is saying I should pray for you. As I pray for you, madam, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release this woman right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release this woman. The devil has put something in this lady's stomach. This lady you are holding. I command in the name of Jesus, remove that evil you have put now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm about to pray. And I'm already seeing a vision of what will happen. There will be such a massive, massive, massive deliverance. Now, let it not surprise you. I've explained to you what this thing is. It's a separation. You should rejoice when it happens. Because it means that you are entering a new season. 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 Jesus. 
Jesus. Receive it. Something is leaving you. Something is leaving you. It must go. Shake it, take it, take it, take it, shake it, take it, take it, and take the name of Oshawara Rabalaraba. New season, new season. I stretch my hand. Something is breaking here. There's someone an anointing is coming on you, breaking a limitation right now. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit leave that lady now. In the name of Jesus. in your life let me tell you the truth by the God whom I serve as I make this declaration the words will live like a sword from me and it will come and create that separation I want you to bring them out overflow one two three wherever in the mighty name of Jesus the God of Jeshua I decree and declare that every force sitting on your destiny as you count three as you count Jesus at the count of three, let there be deliverance. One, two, three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Witchcraft, manipulations of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I command a separation. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit. I decree, I set it as an ordinance in the spirit. I announce liberty. Liberty, bring them out. Jesus Christ if there is any family that has been covenanted to any elements of the supernatural whether the earth whether fire that people pass through fire to make ordinances at the count of three I command those ordinances set on fire one two three let there be liberation right now every family Covenanted to the waters, covenanted to the air, to trees. I set you free now.
Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a map and I'm seeing all your state. All your state. This is the hand of God. The sword of the spirit going to all your state. Bringing deliverance. There are times that God moves this way. In the name of Jesus, I command whoever is from that region, may the power of God begin to touch you now. May the power of God begin to touch you now. Complete liberty. Complete liberty. Complete liberty. Overflow three. Please lift your hands. Just watch your screen and lift your hands. Overflow three. Don't worry. You, you, they, you, you don't have to bring them. The distance is far. Overflow three. Just look at me. I see the angels of the Lord doing something there. At the count of three, overflow three, I want you to shout the name Jesus because I'm seeing swords. That's what I'm seeing. And the Lord is bringing a massive, massive breakthrough. Massive deliverance. In the name of the Lord Jesus, overflow three, are you ready? I'm seeing chains of stagnation about to leave you. Right now in the name of Jesus, everyone under any kind of oppression, at the count of three, shout Jesus, one, Two, three, supernatural liberty, supernatural liberty, an outpouring of the spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please, I want to pray. The Lord is showing me something that is very interesting. The Lord wants to break cycles there are people every season certain things happen every september somebody must die every three three years somebody married must divorce in the name of jesus lift your hands you don't have to ask whether or not you are involved don't worry the anointing will look for you i decree and declare right now in the name of jesus the power that activates cycles demonic cycles over the lives of people so that certain patterns and events keep repeating themselves in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands call that lady back that lady lift your hands my dear God is not done with you I look at you and I see oppression there is something that the devil has put in you if I don't pray for you very soon they will start telling you you will start feeling pain they will say fibroid in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands I command that devil let her go now in the name of Jesus Christ every cycle over anyone's life are you ready to shout Jesus now at the count of three to surprise you what God will do one two get ready three the chain of cycles broken cycles cycles of failure cycles of miscarriages cycles of unfruitfulness by the sound of the spirit be broken now hallelujah be broken now i want to pray um please this man i don't know who the this man yes please quickly we are soon going to pray for the sick i may not have time to prophesy to individuals i'm standing near this lady and i'm seeing a snake this is what i see in the name of jesus i curse that devil i'm not seeing a human being i'm seeing a snake in the name of the lord jesus christ overflow one i'm seeing the power of god this i just mentioned snake and i was seeing serpents just moving at overflow one right now i'm seeing it's like a sword dividing those snakes that's what i'm seeing it's happening to people at overflow one in the name of jesus let it be over now snakes and scorpions the mystery the mystery of snakes and scorpions he said i give you authority over snakes and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy sir i want to pray for you i don't know whether you came here for us come 
here, sir. You have been but, coming here. Uh, but I was tra I travel before that, so I have not been coming. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. If I don't pray for you, the devil is going to kill you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you inside a coffin. They have already closed you. I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. You love Jesus? Be careful so that they don't bring these herbal things for you. Huh? Yes, uh, is that true? Yes, sir. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing them bring something for you to yes. help you. Yes, sir. That thing is a charm. Yes, sir. It's not a yes. charm. Yes. Native yes. doctor. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, That's sir. what will even kill you. Yes, sir. It's not going to solve your problem. Yes, sir. The people doing it are well-meaning. Yes, sir. But the truth is that they are going to kill you for nothing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Because you are not even responding to it the way they say you should respond to it. Yes, and you violate it will destroy you. Yes, sir. Can I pray for you? Yes, you, have, you have taken something in your system now that will even destroy you. Listen, let me tell you. When you are pressed, we are humans and we can be pressed to the wall. Going to the devil to get a charm is, is you are facilitating your destruction. If Satan gives you tea here, he will hold a knife and stab you at the back. Father, by the mercy of God, I pray for this man. Let him not die. In the name of Jesus, I close the gate of the grave over your life. In the name of Jesus, both the herbalist and the conveyor of those charms, in the name of Jesus, we scatter that shrine into pieces. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, sir. The Lord perfects you. In Jesus name I pray something is leaving this lady oh dear she's vomiting I'm looking at her and I'm seeing something Agnes God is not done with that guy or that young man with blue please if you are not Agnes don't come here please your name is Agnes. Where are you from? I need to pray for you. I'm seeing an attack on your life. This attack is coming from Calabar. Huh? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sir. I have to pray for you. Where are you from? Cross River. You are from Cross River? Yes, sir. Come. I must pray for you. Kai. There is somebody, the Lord is setting the person free. I'm seeing a friend going to a herbalist and they are asking the friend to give somebody and they wrote the name of that person. You are here now. In the name that is above all names. I'm serious. Don't think I'm just hyping you. In the name of Jesus, whoever's name has been written, by any demonic friend or whatever herbalist in the name of Jesus because that person you keep seeing dead, dead people you even saw yourself in a coffin in the name of Jesus I curse that spirit now I'm going to pray for you and then we are going to pray for the sick right now ah there is some serious deliverance I'm, I'm seeing something happening in the realm of the spirit this is this is this is a serious father let this lady be free right now in the name of Jesus Christ come you this lady come you love Jesus huh? yes, sir. come you I'm not condemning you, eh? Look at me. You have to be very serious with God. One, two, friends. Look at me. God has delivered you many times. You would have destroyed yourself, eh? Huh? You're a small girl. You need to love God with all your heart. Please, be very careful so you don't go and put yourself in something that will destroy you. I love you, eh? I love you and that's why I'm telling you this. You need, you need somebody to counsel you and follow you up. Hmm? I'm not going to say everything I'm seeing, but you have to be careful. Because it's God that saved you now. I'm seeing something, a virus. Anyway, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I pray for your daughter. Help her by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 I'm standing and I'm seeing a tree. 
and that tree is this lady and something that was planted and the lord is saying uproot it i uproot this thing now in the name of jesus christ i uproot it now the spirit of the lord is taking me to benway state i've never been there physically but i'm seeing benway benway and i'm looking and i'm seeing like a tractor pushing trees down it's like there is a covenant that has to do with trees in the name of jesus christ if there is any family involved in this i command and uprooting every tree that has not been planted help them by my father every tree i see benway state in the mighty name of jesus let there be an uprooting an uprooting an uprooting an uprooting in the name of jesus let me pray for you my dear you are a nice lady but there's bad luck in your life very bad luck and the lord wants to help you father help your daughter in the name of jesus christ bad luck be gone now and forever in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ may the lord help you come my dear let me pray for you i'm about to pray for the sick now our time is gone in the name of jesus christ there are some my spirit is heavy to prophesy but because we have to i want us to pray for the sick so that i can just make those declarations we may not have time for one-on-one -on -one prophecy but i'm telling you god wants to touch touch a lot of people my dear i want to pray for you in jesus name the lord is rolling away the reproach in your family rolling away the reproach in your family in the name of jesus my dear look at me you are entering a new level of lifting you that's what i'm praying for you for i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on your head and the lord is saying i should tell you that is a new level of lifting you this lady looking at me i prophesy it over your life in the name of jesus christ who is this who agnes agnes where is she abuja abuja sir your sister yes father in the name of jesus i pray for this lady where is she Abuja, sir. she loves jesus yes sir in the name of jesus christ pray that no man will come into her life and destroy her eh? in the name of is she married huh in no. the name of uh, whatever it is in the name of jesus christ may god help you mama come let me pray for you it's your season of breakthrough come is this your child come boy come i'm looking at this boy and i'm seeing that god is going to use him this is a small boy boy how are you the, the boy doesn't even know but i'm going to pray for him samuel did not know that he will become a great prophet one day when eli he was just an innocent boy i'm going to pray for him mama please stand up i will pray for you look at me ma please don't be embarrassed but the lord is saying he wants to take suffering from your life this thing they call in house wahala god wants to take it from your life you are a very sincere woman that loves the lord but this this cause of hardship um this woman loves the lord with all her heart father you what's what's the name of this boy Riba, huh? lifted okay. your name is lifted yes father i lay hands on lifted in the name of jesus christ use him mightily we are all products of your grace lift him and use him mightily in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ mama i pray for you in the name of jesus christ and i'm telling you this the month of april is your month of strange breakthrough in the name of jesus christ the month of april is your month of breakthrough azuka come lift the camera first let me pray for you and then you keep the camera i want to pray for you because i'm seeing a big project coming for you and this project is going to lift you this is something that has to do with your snapshot but god is bringing someone 
it's been something you have desired that God will bring someone to open a door. And truth, you have been faithful. You have even been serving in this house. But I want to pray for you. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, lift him. Take him to that dimension of grace. I release that anointing upon you. It will no longer be an ordinary camera. I call forth men that will lift you. I command it so. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Open doors for you. Open doors for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come. This lady. Um, Sarah. Come. There is witchcraft in your family. I have to pray for you. This thing is affecting everybody in the family. Everybody. Everybody. Not There's no exception. Everybody. Lord, take away this plague of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wonderful people, beautiful ladies, but all kinds of trouble from the pit of hell. Jeketos kata bakaria kato zibranda kata. Jebros katos gede katambria kata. In the name of Jesus Christ, I silence the voice of the accuser. I silence the voice of the accuser. I silence the voice of the accuser. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are going to pray for the sick now. Listen, I know that there are a number of people who came here sick and a number of you have come trusting god for healing and miracle let me pray for this lady how many of you have your prayer request now lift it up ushers your prayer request those online make sure we collect it this this lady let me have her hands lord jesus let this trap of darkness over this family represented by this lady give way now in the name of jesus christ just hold that gently should be fine submit your prayer request quickly now we are going to pray for the sick don't allow any nonsense remain in your body no matter how small make sure you insist that it leaves make sure you insist that it leaves we are going to be very fast please we'll be very fast now let me say this when you stand to receive healing don't just stand and be staring as if you are sleeping let your heart be open are we together number two accept whoever is praying for you ask you what is wrong you don't have to say okay it is my ears or my don't worry don't worry the people praying for you have been trained and the anointing of the spirit will touch it doesn't matter what auditorium it's a corporate grace that is working here hallelujah and for all of us who are seated whilst this is happening make sure you are praying because I'm, I'm literally sensing as if I want to throw up. It's the spirit of prophecy. There's, there's something that the Lord is putting in my spirit to release. And that's why I want to pray for the sick quickly. So that we will pray this prophecy. If we do this, I'm satisfied in this service. We have to be very fast so that we'll conserve time. Hallelujah. Jesus. Someone please help with collecting the request. Make sure that even those at the extremes of the road their requests are collected please everybody did father in the name of jesus we pray by the ministry of the spirit several people serving as contact points but we pray that your power and your life will touch the sick lord your people have come some of them with incurable diseases some of them with all kinds of devils i decree and declare that your anointing will prevail over every challenge let your people return with testimonies in the mighty name of jesus please be seated while you pray for a while as we pray for these people pray spiritualize yourself make sure that you are submitting your request and make sure you are praying thank you jesus my beautifier you have taken away the shame taken away the pain you make my life so beautiful my beautifier you have taken away the shame taking away the pain you make me just like you my beautifier my beautifier you have taken away taking away the shame taking away the pain taking away the pain make my life so make beautiful my life so my beautiful, you have taken away, taking away the pain, make me just like you. Oh, my beautiful, you have taken away, taking away the pain, make me just like you. My beautiful. Taking away the pain, taking away the pain, make me just like. 
like you. I'm not built a fire. You are taking away, taking away the pain. Make my life so beautiful. I'm not built a fire. You are taking away, taking away the pain. Make me just like you.
you. My trust is in you. I put them all in you. Say, my trust is in you. Uh huh. Lay it up to die. My trust is in you. Stretch your hands here and begin to pray in the spirit. Stretch your hands here. Begin to pray in the spirit.
please make sure make sure everyone's request is here in the name of Jesus of February we look to you again to surprise us Lord represented here at the requests of people from several nations of the world and several across this nation in the name of Jesus Joshua Selman cannot answer any man's prayer so Lord I transfer the trust of your people to you the one who is able to meet every need and on the strength of the grace that only comes from you and in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God the resurrected lamb the one who is most victorious I prophesy and I turn every request here to become a testimony in the name of Jesus Lord as I walk through these requests in the name of Jesus that is exactly how your people walk through every challenge. Every challenge, every challenge. No matter what it is, I decree and declare that the grace to triumph above it is released. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me, no matter what it is, no matter what it is, provided it found its way here, in the name of Jesus Christ, the same hand that wrote it is the same hand that receives the testimony. The same hand that wrote it is the same hand that will receive the testimony. There are people who need to lack sleep for these prayers to be answered. May they lack the sleep. There are people who need to be promoted for this prayer to be answered. May they be promoted. There are agents of darkness that must be laid to rest for these prayers to be answered. May they be laid to rest. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's pray. If they are still praying for you in any of the overflows, don't worry. You can just connect with them while I pray for you. By the grace of God, you will not write your request twice. I thought I was done, but I just felt drawn again to it. Whatever it is that you wrote here that requires a creative miracle, that means the solution is not currently in existence anywhere. May the one who created the heavens and the earth create your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you. As long as God grants me the grace, I will never stop prophesying over you. It is the greatest thing I think I can do. If I give a word of knowledge because I'm limited by time and I'm limited by my own understanding and my level of alignment to God, I may not be able to accurately address everyone. But when it comes to prophecy, everyone can receive. Are we together now? Wherever you are, you can receive. You've heard the testimonies. You've seen the things that happen. The Bible says, everyone who speaks, let him speak according to 
the measure of grace there are some things this anointing can do and let's trust God that it happens in your life let's pray lift your hands father in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that for everyone here who started this year in tears already that from January February you've not known joy I declare that as this week ends that's how your trouble and your sorrow ends too the Bible says though weeping endures for a night it says but joy comes with the morning I decree and declare the kind of testimony that will make you get down on your knees and say Lord I've seen you bless me but not this dimension may the God I serve release it to you anyone here jobless or trusting God for a better job in the name of Jesus between now and March miracle service return with your miracle job return with your miracle job return with your miracle job anyone here due for promotion and whether based on tribal sentiments or whatever it is you've been kept at a level in the name of Jesus I open the doors for you rise to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ every manifestation of delay in your life others move forward but when it gets to your turn something just clamps you in one position or slow progress slow progress is as destructive as delay I command speed to your life I speak speed to your life I prophesy speed to your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare every advantage that the enemy has over your life in the name of Jesus this is the season where all those doors are closed forever I pray for those in business here I speak over it the grace for multiplication let it come upon your business in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for those who are trusting God to correct certain things in their lives it may be results for students it may be something it may be a mistake of the past you've seen God correct things in strange ways here I command supernatural correction for you for every student here that the result you are holding is not your real result I don't care how long in the name of Jesus the son of the living God we correct it right here anyone here involved in any kind of project building project whatever major project you or your loved ones I decree and declare the finishers anointing comes upon that project in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray over your finances listen let me tell you this the Bible says believe in the Lord your God so shall ye be established he said believe in his prophets so shall you prosper if you truly believe God will surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you I give you two weeks from today in the name of Jesus Christ that between now and the next 14 days let something notable happen to your finances listen I don't want you to think as I'm praying you are thinking oh God will use a B leave whoever God will use to him I'm not talking business in the name of Jesus I say it again between now and the next 14 days may the lifter of men surprise you in your finances hallelujah every gift of the spirit that you had once seen in your life 
and for some reason is either depleting in the grace for dispensing it or not there again i prophesy supernatural activation right now trust and god bless you thank you for staying soon with us on this platform reflector hub tv we bring to you the accurate counsel of the lord and like key jesus rightfully speaking in the revelation of himself he said i am alpha omega i am beginning at the end it is with great joy that we bring to you the revelation of jesus that he is at the beginning he is at the ending you will still see him at the ending of your life don't give up in life on everything he is the beginner of your work with the lord he is the beginning of that business he is the ending of that business just put him into the business and see how it blows up put him into that ministry put him into that finance of yours put him into that family of yours and see everything turns around from the beginning to the end of everything your hand can find to do jesus let him be the lead jesus let him be the advocate jesus let him be the forerunner and see everything changes the twinkle of an eye on this platform with god's servant apostle joshua selman the word of god surely will work in your life do well to subscribe and stay tuned with us god bless you